to see, the deaf hear, the lame walk, the blind receive their sight, and the dead are raised. Jesus makes it very clear by his actions that this is who he, he is who he claims to be. He is the friend of those in help in this, who need help in this world, but even more, he's that greater friend who's come to destroy the power of the adversary. He does it by saying the word Ephrathah in the hinterlands of Galilee. But the people missed it. And yet that word is spoken here as well. A little later today in our 1030 service, a young man by the name of Braden, just a mere weeks old, will have his own F of the moment. Now there won't be fingers in ears or tongues touched, and I promise I won't spit. But in just as miraculous a moment, with a little bit of water and a lot of all-powerful word, this little infant will have spiritual opening. His ears stopped by his inherited sin will be opened, his tongue loosed, and he too, with his very earliest cries, will declare the praises of our wonderful Redeemer. You've had that F of the moment too. You've had your ears open. You've had your tongue unloosed. And you get the opportunity and you just do it. We sing, Alleluia's with gusto. But that's here. When we leave the friendly confines of St. John, do we not tie our tongues just a little bit? Do we not stop our ears yet again just a little bit? Because it's so much safer to stay quiet. It's an amazing thing. The people of Galilee were told not to say a word, and yet they could not help but speak. The people today, you and I and our brothers and sisters in Christ around the world, we are called to speak. And yet, so often in sinfulness, we remain silent. So often, when we have our turn at bat, even pastors, with that opportunity to speak the clear word, we swing and miss, or even worse, we strike out without even taking the bat off our shoulders. It's part of being sinful human beings. As open as we are, we keep trying to pick up those old burdens and we make those self-pity excuses. And even though we've been freed, we act like those in bondage. And yet, to you this day, in the words of holy absolution, in the words of the gospel proclaimed yet again, in the words of the invocation that takes you back to your baptism, Jesus says to you, Ephatha, be opened. Open unstopped ears, Holy Spirit. Untie sinfully held tongues, Almighty Father. Speak through your people yet again. For you see, we have not had only ears unstopped and tongues loosed. We have had sins forgiven. The Jesus of whom we speak is the one who willingly went to the cross to die and rise so that we could have this freedom not only for now, but for an eternity. That's the treasure that we have. Ali uttered magic words and got a treasure that would speak with him. You and I,
with that word, Ephrathah. Have a treasure opened to us for an eternity. Our ears have been opened. Our tongues have been loosed. And the door to heaven is wide open. Ephrathah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus.